Welcome back to Big Jimmy. You could call me DJ and hello to the bushel. Bad apples want to join the bushel, you hit the subscribe button down below to join this fabulously up family. Today, we got a box. And this box is from one, the only, the general, General Cigar Co, Scandinavia, all that jazz. We are a part of their blogger program, I think it's called. I don't know. They reached out to me at the end of last year and said, hey, would you like to be a part of a media team? And I went, well, yeah. So, because this is when you want on, right? You know what I'm saying? I would be silly not to be. So anyway, uh, I've been waiting for a while to get some more cigars. As y'all know, they sent me the punch spring rolls. They actually ended up sending me two of the punch spring roll boxes. So I have like, I think 48 of them left. 47, something like that. Awesome cigar, very lucky. Check the link down below to check the review on that one. But I was waiting for another package because I kept getting emails and basically they got backlogged. Anyway, package came, package here. We got some more cigars to open on the channel. Here is some information on that right here. This isn't the box they used. They sent two packages, but I don't want to open two boxes. We're just opening them now, okay? It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. All right, first thing we can talk about. <laughs> They sent five more of these. So bring that tally back up to like 50, 52. I'm gonna go ahead and keep these saran wrapped because I guarantee you I'm giving some of these away. Uh, next giveaway won't be until 5,000 on the channel. It will be done at 5,000. I think it might be two giveaways at that time. I'm deciding what I want to do. I think I'm going to do an in-person giveaway for all of my local Texans. I'm thinking about going up to Denton Cigar Co if uh, Ken is cool with me doing a little like get together there or maybe the CI in Fort Worth and doing one giveaway in person where I can meet all my local peeps and then also doing a giveaway online for all the people who support me um, online who are not local because I'm getting a lot of cigars and I need to, to offload some of the ones I know I'm never gonna smoke. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna keep some for myself and like, like a five pack of these for one I have 47 other, so I don't <laughs> I don't need the five pack, but say for something like this, this shady moose right here, I'll probably smoke a couple of them, review them, and then give the rest away, unless it's phenomenal. But first thing right here I'm gonna pull up, besides from the spring rolls, is the shady moose. Shady, the shady moose. This is the sequel to the chillin' moose, um, which is a, a, a budget cigar. This one's actually a lot thicker, I think, than the regular chillin' moose that I have. I have in my humidor, in fact, hold on. <laughs> so, in my humidor, I have the regular Chillin' Moose, and I have the Chillin' Moose too. So I got excited when early this year I saw, yeah, the Shady Moose. I kept wanting to call this, I kept wanting to call this the Chillin' Moose three. The Shady Moose here. So I do not have the Bull Moose, so I need to get one, or I just might include it, but similar to what I'm doing with the spring roll series, um, I'm gonna smoke, I'm gonna smoke, I'm gonna smoke this whole line here. So we're gonna get the chill, well, we'll start with the shady, and then I'll go to Chillin' Moose 2 and Chillin' Moose 1, and if I can find a bull moose, I'll go ahead and get a bull moose as well. But I figured for Frugal Fridays, um, pretty cool. Uh, just to make sure, Shady Moose right here. This is the Toro, if I'm not crazy. Um, so a Shady Moose, a Shady Moose Robusto is gonna go for MSRP for a single is four dollars and seventy nine cents. For this Toro here, it's five dollars, four dollars ninety nine. If you want a Gigante, which is a six by sixty, it's five by fifty. Sorry, five dollars and fifty cents. My bad. And this is. The Chilling Moose, which is handcrafted in the Hasta Factory, Hats, Hatsa Factory, H-A-T-S-A, Hats, Hatsa, Hatsa, whatever. Um, this is a six country blend, wrapper, Ecuadorian, Connecticut, Mexican binder, and the selection of long filler tobaccos from the US, Colombia, the Dominican Republic, and Nicaragua. Mellow to medium bodied, it's stout hearted with slightly spicy white pepper notes, 
balanced hints of earth, wood, and cream. So this could be a fantastic budget option for a nice creamy Connecticut. And the only way to find out is when we do the review. Super excited about this cigar. You know, I, I need to bring back the Frugal series. I was going really strong and then life just got crazy. But the next three things I'm gonna smoke probably on the Frugal series, maybe not in a row, but most likely in a row, is gonna be these three right here. Get some moose in the action. Uh, so that is the Chillin' Moose. And then we, of course, we did uh, the Spring Year of the Rabbit already on the channel, so I don't need to go into that. Uh, Chillin' Moose. All right, let's go with La Gloria. And I'm missing one, I have to disappear one more time because um, I'm missing the best thing that was sent in all of this. Lovely. This is the La Gloria Cubana Presents the Corojo de Oro. And I'm shooting without a monitor today, so hopefully, I'm also in my kitchen if you can't tell. So a little different, the sound's not great because the microphone is on top of the camera. It doesn't matter, we're shooting while we got time because like I said, shit got real. Anyway, uh, this is the Corojo de Oro, is a limited time uh, a release. Uh, the special leaf developed in innovation fields in Mao, okay? Uh, ba, 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 okay, so it is a proprietary binder of rich Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, blend filler tobaccos of Brazilian Montefina, A, we like that one, uh, Dominican Piloto Cubano, and Nicaraguan, here it is, Hound Dog, I'm sending you one of these, my guy. This one's gonna be in your box. Nicaraguan Omatepe, just for you, my man. Um, <laughs> Indulgent smoke with layers of notes of earth, cedar, citrus, and white pepper. That sounds pretty nice. I'm not going to lie, but one of these, one of these got a hound dog written all over it. Omatepe all the way. Omatepe all the way. All right, next we have the Macanudo. And that's this one right here. This is the Macanudo Inspirado. Call upon Tercio Aging. What? Okay. Ter tercio, Tercio aged. This is the Macanudo Inspirado Tercio aged. Tercio, ter, T E R I co. Torico, 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 Tercio. What that? Ter tercio. I had it right. Tercio aged. I don't know what that means, and I bet this thing tells me. So hopefully, y'all can see this again. And uh, bu, 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 bu. this blend speaks to, I like, this is hefty. This is hefty, hefty, hefty. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you about the Pelo de Oro. No. I don't know the price of the clock of, huh? Okay, the um, La Gloria Cubana, 1050. 1050 a stick for this one, okay? Now, Macanooters. All right, Macanudo. The blend speaks to refinement and complexity, derived from the old world technique of tercio aging. Tercio. I could probably look that up, but I'm not going to. Uh, time consuming process envelops the cigar and Dominican Piloto Cubano leaves in handmade bales of royal. Ah, it's a palm. It's another palm cigar. Palm bark aged in tobacco six months, the equivalent of, uh, uh, no, in the unique environment for six months. Uh, Tercios round out the tobacco in a way that is not attainable through other methods, uh, delivering deep nuances and heightened aroma. It sounds interesting and it sounds different, which honestly from this brand, Definitely needed. Um, I think Macanudo, I honestly think Macanudo gets a bad rap because people don't think about the Inspirado series. The Macanudo Green is a fantastic cigar. This is a four country blend, uh, Mexican San Andreas, which I'm not super happy with just because everyone uses it now. Uh, Indonesian binder, interesting. Colombian and Dominican fillers, dope. Uh, the results in intriguing medium body smoke with rich earthy tones, smooth white pepper finish, and an alluring aroma. Sounds interesting. It really, really does. It really, really does. Uh, this is, the blend is available in two sizes. Just 3,400 boxes will be released. 
This is a $10 cigar. If you want the Churchill version, it is an $11 cigar. This is $10.50 right here. What are they calling this size? This is a Toro. Okay, thank you. Toro, my favorite size. Um, unless it's a 660, and that's my all-time. That's like my cigar right there. And the last one, I'll be right back, because I got it in my nice humidor already, because I was very excited when I saw it. <sighs> last, but certainly not least, in this very generous box from The General, I got five of these. And if you don't know what this is, just by looking at it, oh baby girl, baby girl, baby girl, this is the Amazon Basin Extra and Yeho. And if you don't know, you can't really find these anymore. Um, I found some in a local store and I bought two as gifts. And I have delivered one of those gifts and another one was meant for another person whose box I'm putting together. And now I get to smoke some for myself too uh, because the shop is now empty. It doesn't have any more. So I get to give the other one away as a gift and I get to keep these five for myself. Probably one more will be a gift as well. But this, if you don't know, is the Amazon Basin Extra and Yeho. It's the same as the regular Amazon Basin, but it was raged, is it aged three years? Something like that. Um, I wanna say three years. I'm gonna say three years. I'm gonna link down to my review of the Amazon Basin Extra and Yeho that I shot earlier this year. I keep wanting to do this like it's a pan flute. Uh, because this cigar right here is going to be on many, many, many people's top 10 cigar of the year list this year. And it will be several people's number one. Um, probably not mine. Maybe. I'm trying to think. I thought one beat it earlier this year. Maybe that review hasn't come out yet. I don't know, but uh, definitely gonna be on many people's top 10 list for the year. It's a phenomenal cigar. Uh, I never had the original, so I wish I could compare it to that. When Michael Prisdale and I were out in Vegas, we uh, talked to a, I'm gonna say club owner. That's the easiest way to describe it. Uh, of the lounge, the nightclub slash cigar lounge. He said he did not like the Añejo. He preferred the original. I wish I had an original that was not aged, which is impossible now to compare it to, but this thing right here, um, thank you. This box, this alone, would have been phenomenal to get. But thank you to General Cigar Co. for sending this out to me. I greatly appreciate it. I even appreciate the spring rolls, even though I have a literal humidor full of just spring rolls. Um, so I'll go ahead and include you in the thumbnail too. But uh, yeah, this is awesome. Thank you so much. Um, I, I look forward to every time I get one of your e emails announcing a new cigar coming to market. Um, there are a couple more that I'm hoping will be coming very soon because they sound intriguing and hopefully I get to unbox them on the channel. And every time I get something in, I will share it with y'all so you can see, you know, kind of what's coming down the pipe as far as what is coming out in the cigar world, as well as what may be coming to the channel in reviews. But I appreciate you all greatly. Please, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, all those YouTuber things. And as always, you could call me DJ. Thanks for watching PJ. I felt like like I dream of genie there and I didn't know what to do with my hands. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. And as a reminder, please follow me over on Rumble, TikTok, and Instagram if you have them. Links are in the description down below. Just in case things ever go belly up here on YouTube, we want to make sure the bushel stays together. Peace.